Hi, so in this video, we're going to be writing the equation of a line, right? So in this case, it's asking me to write the equation in standard form of the line. So the standard form of a line is ax plus py equals c, where a, b, and c are integers. And the greatest common factor between A, B, and C is 1, right? So we're going to see that later. Okay, so in this case, I have this graph. I'm going to identify two points. So I'm going to start by identifying this point and that point right there. So the first one, let's call it A. Point A is going to be negative 1, negative 1, 3, right? And let's call this one B, so point B is 0, negative 1. So for starting to write the standard form, it's easier to depend on the information that I have to use the other forms, right? So I have the slope intercept form that is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b the y-intercept. That's the other form, right? And the last form is called the point slope form. Okay. So in this case, uh, it's going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Again, m is the slope, right? So in this case, I have I can identify my y-intercept because I can see that this line. This line is intersecting my the y-axis on this point right there, b. So that means that my y-intercept b equals negative one. Okay. Now I just need to find the slope. So m equals again as a review, the slope equals m equals y two minus y one over x two minus x one. So in this case, let's name this x one y one x2, y2. So I have negative 1 minus 3 divided by 0 minus negative 1. So I have negative 4 divided by 1. So this is negative 4. So now I have that uh, almost all the information that I need. So now I'm just going to plug that in on this point slope, uh, the slope intercept form because I know this intercept, I know the slope. So I have y equals negative 4x minus 1. So again, m is negative 4, b is negative 1, so I have equals to negative 4x minus 1. Now I want to write the standard form, so the only thing that I have to do is add 4x on both sides. So that means that I have 4x plus y equals negative 1, and that's my standard form of this line. Next one, again, I'm going to start by identifying points. Okay. So I'm going to mark this point up here. That is the point negative 1, 2. And I'm going to mark this point down here. That is 0, 5. Again, I know B. B is 5 because it's, or negative 5, sorry. Negative 5 because it's the point where the graph is intersecting the y-axis. So now I'm going to find my slope. So m equals this name of x1, y1, x2, y2. So I have negative 5 minus 2 divided by 0 minus negative 1. So I have negative 7 divided by 1. So it's negative 7. So y equals negative 7x minus 5. So I'm going to add 7x on both sides. So 7x plus y equals negative 5. That's it. Now, this one is telling me to write the slope intercept form and a standard form of the equation. In this case, I already know my slope and my intercept, so it's just substituting on y equals mx plus b and then solving for 
uh, to write the standard form. So y equals negative 2 fifth x minus 3. Okay. I'm going to start by adding 2 fifth x on both sides. So 2 5 x plus y equals negative 3. And as you remember, we said that they are going to be whole numbers, so integer. So I'm going to multiply everything times 5. Every single time 5, so I can cancel out this 5. So I have 2x plus 5y equals negative 15. And that's my standard form, and this is my slope intercept form. Okay, so again, I want to start right y equals 7 half x minus 3. So in this case, I'm subtracting 7 half x on both sides minus 7 half x. So negative 7 half x plus y equals negative 3. Now, I'm going to multiply times negative 2 because I want that x also to be positive. So that's why I'm multiplying times negative 2. So now when I multiply negative 2 times negative 7 half, it's going to be positive 7 half, 7 x minus 2y equals 6. So that's my standard form, standard. And this is my slope intercept form. The next one, I want a point slope. So remember that the point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I'm going to substitute this as x1, y1. So I have y minus 0 equals 1 fourth times x minus negative 4. So y equals 1 fourth of x plus 4. So y equals 1 fourth x plus 1 fourth times 4. So y equals 1 fourth x plus 1. So minus 1 fourth on both sides. So negative 1 force x plus y equals 1. And I'm just going to multiply times negative 4. So x minus 4y equals negative 4. So I have my standard form is this one. And my point slope is that one. So the next one, again, I'm going to have y minus y minus negative 1 equals negative 4 fifths times x minus negative 5. Okay, so I have plus 1 equals negative 4 fifths times x plus 5. Right? So in this case, this is my point slope form. This is my point slope form. Now, I want to simplify that so I can have my... Um, standard form. So in this case, I'm going to multiply times 5 on both sides. So I'm going to multiply times the denominator on both sides. Right? So I have 5y plus 5 equals negative 4x plus 20. Right? So I'm going to add 4x on both sides. So 4x plus 5y plus 5 equals 20. And now I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. So 4x plus 5y equals 15, and that's my standard form. Okay, so number seven. Now it's asking me to write the standard form that passes through the given points, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to find the slope. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So I have that m equals 5 minus 4 divided by negative 4 minus 5. So that means that I have 1 over negative 9. Right, so negative 1 ninth is my slope. Now I'm going to use my point slope form. Point slope form, so y minus 4 equals negative 1 ninth over x minus 5. Right, I'm using the first point. I'm going to show you later that. Using the second point is going to be exactly the same um, equation. So here I'm going to multiply times 9 on both sides. 
I don't know that I want to cancel that. So when I'm solving and changing from point slope to standard form, I'm going to multiply by the denominator on both sides. So 9y minus 36 equals negative times x minus 5. Y minus 36 equals negative x plus 5. So plus 36. 9y equals negative x plus 41. And I'm going to add x on both sides. So I have x plus 9y equals 41. Now I'm going to do exactly the same. You don't have to do both points, but I'm going to show you with the other points so you can see that it's exactly the same. So I have uh, y minus 5 equals negative 1, 9 times x minus negative 4. So I have y minus 5 equals negative 1, 9 times x plus 4. I'm going to multiply it again times 9 on both sides. So I have 9y minus 45 equals negative 1 times x plus 4. 9y minus 45 equals negative x minus 4. So plus x on both sides. So I have x plus 9y minus 45 equals negative 4. And I'm going to add 45 on both sides. So x plus 9y equals 41. As you can see, they are the two equations are the same. Again, you just don't need to do it with both points. One is enough. But it doesn't matter which one you pick at the end. It's going to be the same equation. Now, the next one. Again, I'm going to start by finding my slope. So x1, y1 x2, y2, so my slope equals negative 2 minus negative 3 divided by 2 minus 4. This becomes positive, so I have 1 over 5. So y minus negative 3 equals to negative 1 fifth x minus 4. So y plus 3 equals negative 1 fifth x minus 4. I'm going to multiply times 5 on both sides. So 5y plus 15 equals negative x plus 4. Remember that I can distribute that one on the same step. So plus x, x plus 5y plus 15 equals 4 minus 15. x plus 5y equals negative 11. And that's it for this lesson. May the first be with you.